Good morning. It's Tuesday. Today we're going to be making a um, turkey and rice casserole in the crock pot. You're going to need three cups of water, chicken seasoning, chopped or minced onions, two cans of cream of mushroom soup, um, some frozen vegetables. The recipe calls for stir fry. You can use peas and carrots, whatever you want, and then three cups of rice, which I'm hoping that's three cups because it's not I'm kind of so well. So let's get started. This is our new equipment. I got a new crock pot because my other one was super old. So what you're going to do first is you're going to take the, t the three cups of water and you're going to put that into the slow cooker. Okay. And then you're going to take the two mushroom soups put that into the slow cooker. Learning curve on it's o'clock. You need to prep your ingredients before you try to shake them out of the can. So that's what it's going to look like. Kind of gross. I've learned that most recipes are kind of nasty until they get cooked and stuff. So this was the first step. Combining the three cups of water and the two cans of cream and mushroom soup. Okay. So when I say cut it into strips, this is basically what I was talking about. You cut your meat this way. This camera is balanced very precariously, so it's only going to be jiggly and wiggly for a second, and then, and then you're going to cut it this way. Now you can do one strip at a time if you're not confident with how well you're going to cut, or if you have a little kid helping you, which these are good recipes for that sort of thing, because then a small child can, and because you're going to end up with kids like this. Because then they can, you know, they can help you make it and then take it out for till it's done. Maybe not till it's done. But that's the way that you're going to cut your meat. And then you want two cups of veg frozen vegetables. That's a little over two cups, but... I'm going to throw it in anyway. See, our turkey's already cubed it in there. Our vegetables are frozen in, in there. So what we have left is the rice and our seasonings. For the next couple of ingredients, you need a tablespoon and a teaspoon. Obviously, the tablespoon's the bigger one, teaspoon's the smaller one. A lot of these seasonings, like this one's one of the 50 cent ones from Walmart, have these little shakers on top. You're going to want to pop that off because I just tried to shake this into the spoon and it was like major pain in my butt. So this is all of our ingredients and then what you're going to do is you want to mix it all together really well. Now, while we're mixing, I'm thinking about, I was never one of those people that when I made a channel, I really wanted to, um, make it so that there was like a giveaway or something, but I noticed a trend that when you do a giveaway, you do get more subscribers. Now, whether or not those are people that are actually watching your videos is beside me, but I know that you do get more subscribers if you do a giveaway. So, I'm going to do a 50 subscriber giveaway. I'm not sure what it's going to be yet, but once I hit 50 subscribers, I'm going to give away probably a mini, so or like a dip crock pot or something like that, because you can get those 
a lot of places, but a lot of people don't have them, like a little 20 ounce crock pot. So, I've mixed this pretty well all together. And then what you're going to do is, you're going to set this on low, on high, no, on low for six to seven hours. So we're going to put this on low. It's uh, 12 right now, so it'll be ready about 6 o'clock. So it's set to low. should start heating up. It's plugged in. I made that mistake already. So. Go ahead and comment, subscribe, rate this video. I'm going to be doing another recipe on Thursday because that's my schedule. It's Tuesdays and Thursdays. Make sure you check out the blog link, which is down in the bottom bar. And the Facebook page is down in the bottom bar also. I'm really looking to start this so that I have something to do because I'm a stay-at-home mom. And so that other people can benefit from a first-time cook cooking recipes, too. Because I know a lot of times when I watch a recipe or something, it's like they know. They're just throwing stuff in. They're not measuring anything out. They're just like, oh, a little of this, a little of that. Well, this is for first-time cooks. I mean, if you're a good cook, you can learn from it, too. But this really is based on first-time cooks. Okay, it's easy enough. First-time cooks and what they... Something that will be easy for them to follow. <coughs> That's what this is all about. It's being a first-time cook who doesn't have a lot of background. But you can follow this recipe, like, really easy. So, go ahead and leave any suggestions for recipes in the bottom bar, or in the comment section, or on my Facebook, or on my Tumblr, the blog. So, hopefully we'll be getting on Twitter soon, but I'm not sure that I want to do Twitter because I never sign on to it. So, this is what it looks like when it's cooking, and then we will do a finished product at the end, but the finished product in the review will be on my Tumblr. That's the way I'm doing it. I want to upload two videos a day. And I want to make sure that I have this edited and ready to go. So, the finished product will be on my Tumblr. Link in the bottom bar. Okay, guys. Thank you for all your positive feedback on the last one. And I can't wait to see what you guys think of this one. Bye-bye.